In this video, I'm going to show you this concept that I actually matched up with Henry in Weekend League, and he used this defense to absolutely shut me down, and I actually had forgotten that this even existed in Madden, so I wanted to teach on it today and share with you some insight that one of the best Madden players in the world uses when he is defending trips tight end. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, my name is Cody. I do videos every single day like this that help you become a better Madden player. And Henry does this. This is a concept. You can do this out of multiple formations. He actually does this out of the 3-3-5 wide. And I actually taught on this earlier this year. And again, I completely forgot that this existed. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through this exact concept that he's doing. So as you can see here, I'm running some trips tight end. I was kind of messing around with the trips, just trying to lab it a little bit. And um, I'm going to run a very popular concept, as you can see right here. And what he's going to do is, if you take a look here, he actually sent the dogs right here on this play. Um, this was just more of a, a zone drop concept for him or just a base coverage. But on this next play, you're going to see, and he gets to be sacked. But on, on this next play, you're going to see this adjustment. Take a look at the safety. Look at how that safety matches that crosser all the way across the field and completely takes that away. And then I'm forced to throw it. Should have thrown it away. Instead, I throw it to his player. Now, I want you to show you this one more time. Again, I want you to pay attention. Look at the safety that is on the side of the tight end. Watch what he does to my crosser on number 19. My, what you're going to see is Miles Austin is going to get completely bagged. Now, I actually had a touchdown on the play, but I missed the read. And as you're going to see right there, that's really, really good defense. And to be honest with you, as I was playing this game, I kept running that concept. And the reason why was because I wanted to see what he's doing. I couldn't figure it out. And then after I actually went into the practice mode, I remember this is a concept that I actually taught in the first week Madden was out. Now, what it is, is we're going to put that Tampa 2 in our audibles from 335 wide. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you this play. This is a very, very, very good trips tight end defensive adjustment. So if I go to PA counter go, what you're going to notice here is, let's just say, for example, that I run the standard uh, Tampa 2 out of this. And what you're going to see is if I do that, typically what's going to happen is this deep crosser. If I pass lead that up, you're going to see that I'm going to hit that all day long, which was what I was planning to do going into this game. The problem is Henry makes an incredible, incredible adjustment uh, to this. And I wanted to break this down in this video. So what he does is he's going to go over here to Tampa two. Now, what you're going to see him do is actually really, really smart. You're going to see that he's going to put the safety on the right side of the screen into an inside quarter zone. Now, what he probably, this is just my opinion and who am I to tell Henry what to do, but you saw some cross manning. We were cross manning this guy right here on the tight end. Now, I think he probably should have just manned this guy up on the tight end, but again, who am I to tell him what to do? Obviously, he destroyed me in that game. And then what we were seeing was we were seeing this little cross man assignment here. Now, the reason this is such good defense is if you think about what Trips tight end does, the tight end, if he's going to come on a route, normally he's going to be on a crossing route or a streak. So that cross man assignment was a great adjustment. And then now all Henry really has to do is user over the middle of the field. Now, you know, again, what I would have done, and I'll show you how this works. So uh, I'm just going to put my user on a zone just to kind of illustrate this. And I think, you know, he was doing some either two or three man rushes. And then, of course, mixing in pressure as he was going through this. But if you watch what happens, notice that the safety is going to come over. And literally, he is going to absolutely bag this route. There's, there's literally no way to throw it. Now, on the simplest of terms, here is the adjustment that you can do if you want to try this yourself. Just literally put the quarter uh, or the, the Tampa 2 deep half on the right into an inside quarter. What you're going to see is he is going to go guard this. Now, as you can see right there, the tight end is open, right? But I... Most people don't even look at the tight end if they see zones like that. And then the other thing is, like I said, if you're going to do this, please don't make the mistake that I made uh, or that I just made of not having anybody on the tight end, which is why I would recommend go ahead and man somebody up on the tight end. Now you have this. And if you watch how this defense plays against this combination, it just really does do a great job like i could check down to the flat henry for the most part had that manned up but as you can see i mean that's that's a one in a million throw it's not open it completely takes away this crosser that gives defenses so much trouble out of trips tight end i remember talking about this earlier in the year and i kind of went away from it when i was defending trips tight end but 
it really is a great concept. And then what you'll see is you could do something like this. Literally just take your linebackers and man them up on the two guys just like that. And then what I would do is on this backside, because we have the tight end manned up, so we don't have to worry about him really if you think about it. Then the other reason why this was so good is now the tight end can't beat on a streak. But even more importantly, take a look at this concept right here out of this, out of this coverage. What you're going to notice is this is a great little spaceship concept that is going to do a great job at beating uh, coverages for the most part but if you notice this cover two corner will play this and i threw i think i threw two interceptions on that because i'm not used to that cloud flat uh playing it the way that he had it playing it it's really simple adjustments man literally just man up those two guys put an inside quarter on the field and then you can kind of just work the running back yourself um normally the running back is most people that run trips tight in they don't put the running back on a route and then let's say, for example, you see something like this. Well, what you can do with your user is, is you're just going to sit here, here, and then you're kind of work back to that post, of course, which is what Henry does so masterfully. And he's able to take away a lot of what Trips Tight End wants to do. So um, anyways, if you've ever if you ever struggled defending Trips Tight End, to me, this is a great concept uh, that you can utilize. Essentially, what is happening is when you put that inside quarter zone on the field, what he does is he takes... Uh, he, he essentially, and I, I don't know how to quite explain it, but it's essentially like he's cross man onto that third player. Now, why this could be important is for some other combinations uh, that you will see from this. So let me show you another one real quick. So another one that you might see is something like this. Now, um, what you're going to see here is now I'm going to run that corner route, uh, which is a really good read normally. Okay. What you're going to see on this is this inside quarter. Watch what he does. Watch him run to the corner route. And then you click on and pick it. Because essentially, like I said, he's kind of cross-manned, if you will. But he plays way better um, than anything else. So when you put that adjustment out there, mentally what you need to understand is it's essentially like you're cross-manning him on the number three receiver. So let me give you one last example to leave you with. And again, if you want to learn more about this 46 defense, I have a full ebook on it and I've been updating it uh, with new things, you know, almost very, very frequently. So if you want to check that out, I would encourage you to join the Patreon. I actually did a full one hour and a half uh, film breakdown on uh, Henry and why Henry is so effective uh, in our Patreon membership. So if you want to check that out, again, that is linked down in the description. You can sign up for the Patreon for just 10 bucks. But notice this real quick. So I'm just going to streak circle. Watch what this quarter zone does. See how it runs right at it. It's literally cross -band. Literally, the practical implication of that is he's cross -band on circle. He's cross -band on circle if you think about it. So um, based on that, now we can craft our defense around that adjustment. And it really is a very, very powerful, uh, very, very powerful adjustment for defending the majority of of what trips tight end wants to do. Let me show you uh, one last thing here, or one last route uh, that you might be concerned about, and that is the verticals concept. So uh, again, just for purpose of the video, I'm just gonna put my guy in a spy. Don't worry about it. You can use her things. I don't wanna, you're obviously gonna be able to use her a lot, but watch this, watch this route to circle. This route to circle kills zone drops, right? But look at that match concept. And you see he just takes that away completely. So um, try this out. I think this is a great way to defend trips tight end. Um, it's probably the best, it is by far the best trips tight end defense that I personally have gone against uh, this season by far. And, um, and and shout out to Henry. But again, uh, if you guys want to learn more about this stuff, be sure to join that Patreon. It gets you instant access to not only every exclusive tip, every pro player breakdown, but you're also going to get immediate access to 12 offensive and defensive eBooks and any additional ones that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. I'm working on two eBooks. We're planning to launch two eBooks this week. Uh, my spread offense and my goal is to try to get my nickel normal defense out. So again, if you want to get access to all of that content for just 10 bucks a month, join the Patreon. There is a link to do that in the description. So head on down in the description and check out that Patreon.